Hey guys, it's MJ, and this is a general reading for the collective using my mock-up Guardian of the Night Tarot deck. Um, bear with me, this deck, you know, is a mock-up and the paper is really difficult to shuffle, so <clears throat> excuse me. So anyway, this is the general reading for the collective for June 11th. It is Thursday, and we're going to just see what the cards bring to our awareness this morning. You know, I create these mock-up decks to help me write the guidebooks. They come in very handy. I can hold one card, focus on its energy, and then draw inspiration from there. So let's see what these cards bring to us this morning. Think of this kind of like a weather system. It may not be with you at this present time, but eventually it will get to you. So let's see here. Okay. Oh, we're working with the Hermit. And so this was the first the first card I made from this deck. Um, this was right when the pandemic started and our shelter in place order in Seattle went into effect and I felt very much that Hermit energy. And so we are, I mean, I think collectively, we may be feeling the sense of emerging from our, from our nests, perhaps um, from our shelter. Uh, but right now the energy that's around us is really one of going inward and maybe as you are getting ready to go outward, you're spending this time now really examining your life and what you want from it. Uh, this may be the time that you're drawing that wisdom after the initial, um, you know, uh, sadness of the of the events that have been taking place. Maybe this is a time for contemplation. This may be a time for you to go um, to a, a quiet spot. Um, within your home if possible, you know, or, you know, out into the woods and really get that download, get that download from the universe because there is information available to each and every one of us. The question is, will we quiet our minds enough to listen to it? So here we have this, this beautiful spider creating its web and it's creating this web around itself, much like how we do, you know, when we go inward. You know, this is, uh, you know, we kind of put up those barriers, we put up those defenses. And so, although many times, you know, we can do this and it's, it's um, it prevents us from getting uh, information or, you know, we put up barriers, it can prevent us from experiencing some, some things. This time, right now, this hermit is saying, it's time to go inward. It's time to put up some barriers. It's time to say, hey, I need some alone time so that I can go inward and get that information that I need that, so that when I do emerge, I, I feel better. I feel more at peace. So let's see what energy is going to follow this hermit. This paper is very unwieldy. I might have to go and just make another mock-up deck with thicker stock. And here we have the Queen of Cups. Oh, this is diving in deep. This is that getting um, uh, not only that download, but really being able to feel this connection with other people and feeling a sense of love and compassion and going inward isn't going to necessarily take you away from other people. It's going to help you better relate to people. You're going to be able to get um, a sense of what's going on in their lives. You know, you're going to have a, a greater understanding and, and very empathic um, response here with this Queen of Cups. And you can see, this is one of my favorite cards. So the Orcas from this deck are, my, or are I think, one of my favorites. Um, you can see she's diving inward. She's connecting with this school of fish. She's hearing the message. This is a, a, a symbol of good luck and good fortune, that good things are on, on the way. The crab here is the intuition. We have the full moon here. So this is really illuminating your intuition, your, your connection to your higher self. 
and she's going inward. And so, you know, this is where you really swim in your emotions too. And you're able to um, express yourself freely without fear, without this, you know, um, concern of being vulnerable. You're able to connect in such a loving, beautiful way with people. And I think it's only because you did get that information from the hermit that you were able to feel the confidence to perhaps um, let your ego take a, a, a back seat so that your heart can open up and you can connect with those around you in a more profound way. So let's see what advice these animals bring to us. look who shows up the high priestess again you know this is a time for really just going inward i mean i don't if you haven't gotten the the, the memo yet maybe this is a good weekend to uh, take some alone time to go away to go to the beach perhaps to um especially when i'm thinking this with this queen of cups here to go towards water um and go inward. This is not a time to, uh, you know, um, keep your keep your thoughts. I think to yourself. You know, it's not a time to be secretive or to be too uh, introverted. But you know, it's a time to let that intuition be what's guiding you. You know, it's. The high priestess here is bringing this advice, you know, of really connecting to that sense that you have of being connected to the world, to being connected to everything that we all have these strings that are attached to each and every one of us. And, you know, you can almost, if you think about like how a, a spider can feel um, the, you know, the tension on each of its, uh, each of the strings on its uh, web, right? This is where you get to feel that that sense of like where's what's moving, what's happening in the world. And this high priestess is going to help you feel that connection. It's going to help you really uh, hone in on on that talent that you have that we all have within us, right? To connect with people on a deeper, more um, meaningful way. And so Again, like the high priestess, you know, she can be a bit secretive. So I think the the message here is to not not hold your emotions so close to the vest. You know, don't um, don't keep yourself from other people in a way that um, takes you out of the picture. If anything, I think this is a time for you to use your your talents to use your psychic abilities to use your intuition to help other people to connect with them in such a way that draws them in um that you know enables you to then pass this torch that enables you to become um the bearer of wisdom does that make sense you know what i mean it's like this isn't a time for you to like keep all that wonderful juicy information that you can gather about other people to yourself this is a time to help other people so this is time to extend love outward um so much love peace and i hope this reading makes sense and we have the spider with the hermit energy we have and um for by the way for this card in lieu of a lantern um i use the moon the full moon here um and let's see here we have the Queen of Cups, which is this orca diving deep into the water. And her crown is created out of the stars. And of course, we have the High Priestess here who's hanging from the moon. So much love and peace, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.